which a great privilege joy and honor always to be associated with any program of pyramid society buddha ceo quantum foundation and for that matter all spiritual movements those who are able to get associated with such movements are very fortunate this path available to everybody but only those who are wise or whose good karma brings them to this knowledge because we have seen over the long history all over the world mere power or wealth or even scholarship fame or name has not brought people to lead a life of peace and contentment we have seen that in our life yes you have to do a profession you have to do a business for a material life it's okay but mere material success is no salvation for us and uh, hatha yoga yoga asana is concerned this has been going on in india for thousands of years this is all experienced and propagated by our rishi munis observing nature observing the birds animals and all that the greatest gift of our ancestors to all of us it belongs to all of us a gift to all of humanity in fact the first world conference international day of yoga was held in lisbon portugal in 2002 i had the good fortune of participating in that is a great uh, portuguese yoga master called amrit suryananda he had mastered this he been teaching there number of yoga institutions in all over portugal it was he who said that this must go all over the world 2002 i am talking about he proudly called it international day of yoga and some of us participated and he has been doing it every year and a few years later at his instance we had organized this conference in out of living campus bangalore headed by gurudev shri shri shankar we had invited great yoga masters of the time guru dr b k sangar the greatest yoga charya well he is no longer with us now on all big names in the yoga field we had a two day conference and then we drafted a resolution appeal to the united nations please introduce this yoga all over the world i had carried it to un but nothing happened it was much later 2014 i think yeah exactly 10 years back when our prime minister honorable sri narendra modi ji went and addressed the general assembly we said this belongs to the world it is not the monopoly of hindu religion or something it's a gift of india to humanity for the health of the body mind and spirit please accept 21st june as international day of yoga and because it came from a practitioner of yoga power of intention and then 77 countries voted immediately it became 21st year and even islamic countries nobody opposed it and you know what's happening now every year more and more cities all over the world 21st june in the practice in the white house everywhere it's a it's a global festival all over the world because they realized yes yoga asanas is the most scientific way of ensuring your health of the body 
बट यू नो वेन वी वेंट योगा इन ट्रेडिशनली योगा इंक्लूड प्राणायामा एंड ध्यान डेट इज यू नो योर ब्रेथ एंड ऑल्सो मेडिटेशन बट ओवर ए पीरियड ऑफ टाइम पीपल स्टार्ट टेकिंग योगा मीन्स ओनली हट योगा बट योगा इज इंपॉर्टेंट दैट्स नॉट इनफ I think it was in, uh, just a few one month before Modi ji became prime minister when he was chief minister of Gujarat I had a long meeting with him I asked him sir chief minister's job is a full time job you are a man of uh, perfection you want everything to be done perfectly and now you have become the candidate of the Then the opposition party BJP for the prime ministership. Was that you have to travel all over the country, and India is more than bigger than a continent. Even if you travel constantly, you won't be able to cover all the areas. Plus, you are going to be the chief minister of Gujarat also. I asked him exactly where will you find the time and energy to do this. But the reply he gave to me, I number of times I quoted even before he became PM also. He said, "Kartik ji, I get up at five o'clock in the morning. Ninety minutes of yoga, yoga asana, pranayama, and dhyana meditation. I don't start the day without these things, and I've been doing it for younger days. So I just don't know what fatigue is. You come at any time." I will be at ten o'clock in the night. Also, I will be in the home office or office, or I will be traveling. But I never miss this practice. So that is the secret of my energy. I wrote about it, mentioned about it uh, everywhere. Even when I go to convocations and all that, or business schools, this is where there is the time. We are kept busy so early morning till late in the night, and all that. I said, can anyone say? Any one of us say that we are busier than Mr. Narendra Modi, and even now, even now I say with authority, when he is in Delhi, he is not ninety minutes; he does two hours. He is the busiest man in the world, handling the most challenging job. India itself is a very complex country, and he is also a global leader, participating in all global conferences. talking to the most powerful people trying to solve many issues he does it in delhi we there he does it for two hours so none of us have an excuse to say we are busy nobody can be busier than him okay now but we see with all these things happening with all the religions they all have their role to play religions uh, gurus and many organizations doing so much of good spirituality millions of people are on the right path and all that no doubt about it and didi uh, ji namaste welcome please rise in honor of didi krishnamal ji head of the radha swami mission well who doesn't know the great was was swami mission sadhu was swami ji dada was swami i had the privilege of having the love and blessings of dada was swami ji number of times been to their campus yesterday some of you visited the darshan those who have not come we must go and see one of the landmarks of pune you must come and see that just to only start with one quote you know the embodiment of compassion kindness grace dada used to be and even now you can see the his presence when you go to the mission and the way the service is being carried on and particularly the darshan exhibition you see that one of the most beautifully Done. I would call it a museum. It's a living experience when you go through that. Now, yes, one quote of the. There are so many things, you know. 
he said if you want to be happy make others happy simplest thing if you want to be happy make others happy that's the way both sadhu and dada lived and the mission is still being conducted by the under the leadership of dri ji here she is here dri you are most welcome we are very grateful to you for coming time so i coming back to what i was talking to you yes yoga asana gave yes no doubt if you practice yoga now i have gone through so many things you know so because of the compulsions of my office in various places abroad here i went for some time on tennis and badminton and squash and even golf and of course swimming walking everything so my commitment to you practice of yoga itself has got diluted actually but if you ask me of course you don't we don't have the opportunity to live again i would say i should have stuck to only to yoga i would have been for better health because yoga gives not only strength it's flexibility health when said to you then the importance of meditation uh, went back okay. the world doesn't know much now of course see the new pandemic is stress depression everywhere quoting one of our great masters who travels around the world is that 60% of the doctors in america are suffering from depression section they need counseling so for that you know i have had the first regional conference in delhi organized by mr chandra and his team with the ceo foundation we at the end of the two day session we said we need to it is not enough few people doing meditation not going to help because the world is in turmoil the future is bleak global warming glaciers are melting islands are going to be submerged you can't stop it now island nations and according to even coastal cities are going to be flooded so yes governments are doing their best courts are there laws are there police is there punishment in jails all is there but with all that we know very well we are not even touching the fringe of the problem in fact i have evidence to say that things are getting worse more comforts technology has brought us whole world has been reduced into a village a family but so much of tension within the family also even the love families love marriages within 6 months we see so many cases in the courts now there was and then you know the tradition of respecting the elders you know mata pita guru dev and all that they gave their sweat and blood they bring us up but the children when they grow up we very often i don't say everywhere you see them they forgetting they neither love nor gratitude so they don't care for them they neglect them wherever possible they put them in old age homes and uh, the children what about what about what is happening you know very well addiction alcohol it is only for adults some today the school children are affected when you i don't want to mention the state i go around and see people are worried what's happening and villages you don't have people to work for farms today because so many freebies are given it's okay it's a government duty social welfare and uh, the alcohol you know shops are open everywhere on on ground they say people are used to it you can't stop it other hand you know they want money several thousands of crores they get out of the tax or out of the earnings of the poor people so they go and work hard no longer in my days i am from a farming family morning to evening people used to work in the farm with a break in lunch today they are go out morning is a tea break and 2 o'clock they all go they don't go home most of them unfortunately they go to the liquor shop either drink or carry it home i asked the doctors if so many people drinking you must be having a good practice they said no they don't live long 40 50 years you know they, they don't have enough strength to work in the farm now and then get drunk what happens you know what happens to the family they get drunk they become crazy 
beat up the women children and uh, most of the children are being brought by the women now ultimately because the husbands are no more or they are not capable of working you know addictions you know becoming pandemic and then of course we have got these gadgets now these gadgets now we have come you know babysitters they become when the parents both of them are either working or they go for the evening uh, you know clubs and all that they give this to silent the children i have seen in the flights you said two year old children are given to make them quiet and all that and it's a big pandemic psychiatrists they say when the mothers come now they with the children how to get them rid of this right? you have, you are read also when parents suddenly they realize it harmful they took away one child committed suicide so much of addiction and all that so what i'm saying is in every way if you look at it we all belong to a comfortable family but down the line you see water shortage polluted water polluted air you want the capital city you have seen what's happening and wars you see ukraine and palestine and all that wars are going on not one or two days whole year going on thousands of men fighting and killing each other and women and children are rendered homeless and they are killed also starvation the world will so much of plenty so i'm reminded really, the world outside if you see you going back so what to do that revolution has to take place within is all the god great master souls have said so unless each one of us each one of people are made to realize what is right what is wrong and for that this the technology is yes bhakti yoga spirituality all that is there but ultimately in you it is meditation you go within you go within see you know the greatest scientist of the last century said towards the end of his life he invented so many things he said i feel i wasted my entire life exploring the world outside i wish i had spent little more of time of exploring my inner world so ladies and gentlemen we are all fortunate some of us at least to realize what the scientists could not realize towards the end we are all young we are realizing we are at the path so the only path i would say only but i won't say it the surest path of salvation for the individual how to lead a life of peace you know body mind and soul together harmony then how to lead a harmonious family how to bring up the children in the ethical way how to take care of the elders how to take care of the environment according to me a person who is really deeply meditating he will neither pay bribe nor accept bribe and the children when they do it they'll tell their parents don't do wrong things so this is a surest technology is uh, meditation we decided so we passed a resolution then i have done some little bit of research now i have seen meditation has been accepted in some form or the other in all traditions religions all over the world from all we are bringing out a paper on that now also all scriptures whether it is bible or quran or bhagavad gita or anything somewhere or the other they have talked about meditation all successful people for example steve jobs you know is considered a genius they all say meditation shakespeare plato aristotle all our great masters they all said now i collected all of them now we are going to start a movement telling by all means have bhakti yoga is good all spiritual practices are good but we must make everyone to practice meditation everyone means including the children they said oh meditation children you know dalai lama universally respected he said if every 80 year old child is taught meditation within a generation there will be peace and harmony all over the planet so like that there are a lot of quotes plenty of people trying to be great uh, you know hollywood stars sports uh, they all have said that no meditation 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 so three years back after seeing the experience of people going through this anapanasati meditation of famous society i saw the reaction observed 
right from young children nine year old children they get they are not forced on automatically they sit with their parents and they share how their performance improved in academics in the behavior how the school appreciated them and doctors eminent doctors with uh, degrees of a to z behind the names they said we have cut down our medi- medication we are prescribing meditation for our patients cutting down medicine and all these things so in all way i am totally convinced that is only say way of saving humanity from self destruction saving mother earth from uh, you know what's happening today and all these things so we are preparing a paper shortly we will be sending it to the prime minister and all over the world you ask me how can it is it possible so i always uh, remember mother teresa when she walked the streets of calcutta picking up orphaned children or nursing leprosy patient parent patients so they asked her mother mother you are a free old lady how many people you can reach the problem is so big she said i know it's big that doesn't mean i should do nothing i should do whatever i can and you can do that she inspired many people and here pune the it's a sacred place sanctified by the, you know the sadhu vaswani and dada vaswani and their moments how much of seva they were doing it selfless seva in the field of health education particularly for the girl child and all that you know there are role models but um, i have seen uh, all our masters are welcome all over moment but not we are all together we are not touching even the fringe of the problem not even one percent so unless it becomes a mass moment the whole humanity is involved in that religions have their role to play but they have their limitations gurus technology really but when you start meditating deep within you become your own guru as they say we are all god has created us in his own image in the bible says also so we are able to see what is right and we will ensure that we do the right things we will allow uh, prevent others from doing wrong things and all that so now uh, i'm i'm happy you're all here i'm talking to the already converted i know you don't need any convincing but still but some of the message i read i'm not going to read the whole message i have them for example immediately i got a message was from shri shri shankar and then from sadguru jagi vasudev then daji you know daji kamlesh patel of artfulness movement not well known but a global movement they all written and of course bk shivani is a, a world renowned person i only a few paragraphs because i can't you use better words than those masters just few sentences then i will request the dd come and give her blessings and guide us now now message from shri shri prashankar ji gurudev the global conference of meditation leaders initiative advocating for meditation everywhere for everyone is not only commendable but also the need of the hour this visionary call if needed holds the potential to usher in a new revolution in the world i urge i am skipping some paragraphs i urge everyone not only to adopt meditation in their own life but also to actively support the widespread adoption in the society with influential people and leaders taking the lead this noble concept will have a more significant reach state support plays a important role in the mass disip- adoption of new ideas therefore i urge the world leaders to heed this call of conscience from the global uh, conference of meditation leaders says she so says let us each play our part in making this timeless practice a universal tool for healing and inner transformation on a global scale now from sadguru jagi vasudev your meditation is not only about you if you become truly meditative without knowing why everything around you will become peaceful if we can make just 1% of the population meditative the remaining 99% will slowly transform themselves such is the power of human consciousness the purpose of meditation is to create 
the necessary inner ambience for you to live in joy, peace, and in turn unfold your genius. If you exist here only for your body and mind, suffering is inevitable. Meditation means to go beyond the limitations of your body and mind and know freedom. That is Sadhguru Jaki Vase Padma Goshan. Now, coming to a long message from Dadiji, but I will just give two messages. The remedy must therefore, no, no, yeah. When meditation becomes a daily habit, this is Daji. It shows that we have started caring for our minds and maintaining their good working order. Just as we care for our body by feeding it, keeping it clean, exercising and resting, we can feed, clean, exercise and rest the mind through meditative practices. We also remove the root causes of violence, hatred, greed, apathy, injustice and selfishness from our systems and open our hearts to so that love flows into us and out from us, creating a world of peace, compassion and kindness. And it is a crucial step towards achieving world peace. Now, a few words from uh, Sister B.K. Shivani, the long message. Ever since the International Day of Yoga was inaugurated in 2015, there has been a remarkable increase in the acceptance and practice of yoga. But it was primarily on Hatha Yoga. Today, our society is facing physical health crisis, mental health challenges, relationship within the families, societal conflicts, inequality, violence and environmental degradation. Meditation comes from the word medari, which means to heal. So it has to be the potential to address and solve a wide range of problems. She has written quite a lot about various things like holistic wellness, boosted physical immunity, mind-body energy, hormonal balance, physical pain management, emotional pain management, fostering strong relationships, overcoming addictions, combating abuse and lust, countering corruption and crime, mental health support, enhanced self-awareness, increased focus and concentration, accurate discernment and decision-making, emotional regulation, lasting peace, love and happiness, greater contentment and gratitude, simplicity and minimalism, increased environmental awareness, better sleep, gift of your beautiful destiny. Meditation empowers the mind to think right in every situation. When our thoughts are pure, our words, actions and behaviors will also be benevolent. Our right karmas have paved the way for a beautiful destiny. The last para, meditation is no longer an option. I want to say that it is no longer an option. There is no other way, surest way of transforming from individual consciousness to societal consciousness to a global consciousness now. Meditation is no longer an option, but has transcended into a necessity today. Integrating it into our lifestyle equips us with valuable life skills that are essential for success in various aspects of life, including personal development, relationship, and work. It is indeed to introduce meditative practices right from the school curriculum so that each child grows up understanding that meditation is not an act of doing. Meditation, meditative mindset is a way of living. This one. So now I'm sure all of us are coming, but how to make it happen? Our, so it is the job of each one of us now to spread it to as many as possible. That's our duty. Because, you know, we are fortunate to be born in, you know, with good parents guiding us, coming to the path, great masters, in this moment, you know, Patriji, we are, we are an ordinary family man. After the first day of Vipassana, he raised the value of this breath-based meditation, simplified it, perfected it, went from home to home, village to village, all over the country. In fact, many countries, well, he had a simple man. I know he doesn't carry a rupee in his pocket. Always somebody supporting him and all that. And his vision is, First Dhyana Andhra Pradesh, then Dhyana Bharat, now Dhyana Jagat. I used to wonder this man, what is he thinking? 
but he has been able to create so many hundreds of monsters, hundreds of monsters and, uh, you know, pyramids. So many pyramids, thousands of pyramids have been done and become a way of life. But popular around the world, many of these disciples, master, whom he, they are called masters, they carry his mission, fulfilling his vision, spreading the message to thousands and thousands of people. One of those branches is here, Buddha CEO Fountain Foundation, headed by Chandrasekhar and every supporter of his wife, Vani, and their very committed team of young professionals here, giving up their own uh, prosperous future, but they want to, the satisfaction is transforming people. I asked people, why do you do it? Because many people, you know, many organizations, I said, you are a vice president of corporate law, why do you? He said, but the satisfaction, the satisfaction of giving happiness, transforming lives is the supreme contentment ultimately. Which money, which power can give and all that. So this is part of the organization. The second regional conference, I have taken too long. I am not supposed to, but anyhow, it's an opportunity. I will not come and trouble you again on the stage now. Thank you very much, sister. Grateful to you for your coming. We always remember Zara. Is, uh, is, uh, what service you have done. Women's education, particularly girl child, and healing the people of their physical health and and uh, mental ethical values and all these things. Your hospitals, you are you are doing great service. I'm happy Dada has empowered you to carry on the huge task on your slender shoulders. But I tell you, you are doing it remarkably well. We are very proud of you. Happy. Thank you. Namaskar. Thank you.